My family's been on the property since 1945. My family's actually been in the area since 1634. Uh, my grandfather and my father had a seafood business called Phillips Wharf. And um, both of them died in 1979. My husband and I moved here in 1992 to take care of my grandmother. And in 2003, we were wiped out by Hurricane Isabel. Although we had a crab buyer on the property from 1979 through recently. Um, the building was trashed by Isabel and the dock was. So when we rebuilt, we were already in the uh, ecology tour business with our boat. And I'm a biologist and I used to work for the state. And I figured out that saving it in little bottles doesn't save the bay. Talking to people saves the bay. So we decided that we would when we rebuilt the dock, we would rebuild a, an environmental center. Our goal is to educate all people, kids and adults, uh, about the bay and things that they could do in their everyday life to help the bay. We keep a host of animals that live in the bay and by seeing them and touching them, um, people gain stewardship through that. We are a nonprofit 501c3, and we get in the center maybe 2,500 visitors a year. We're open from April to October. Membership is important. That's how one of the ways that we're supported. And when you become a member here, we want to make you part of our family. And so we do different activities like kayaking and the sunset cruise on the boat and um, just try to generally invite our members to give us guidance about our center, what they see that they would like to see that we're not doing or how we could do things better. And um, we would like everybody to be a member. We have uh, 349 people on our mailing list and out of that I think 100 and some of them are members. So. We'd like to have all 349 be members.